top of the middle of the afternoon to you ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're going to do a little resaw comparison testing between an MS-261, this is a standard version thankfully, but it still is a quote unquote metered air leak saw. They're stuffing raw air into the system so they run kind of, kind of crazy good in a way. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of on whether or not they're going to last for any length of time. Seems like you get a lot of wear when you're dumping raw air into any kind of a saw. If we could do a metered air leak on the Mighty 346 XP Big Bore, that thing would run a little bit better too. It's a matter of controlling it, however. So, old school technology, but it's a Big Bore kit. I got on this Big Bore kit, kit thing back. What the heck, when was that? 2000 and I started on in about 2000 on a 372 project and then I went kind of ballistic in about 04, 05, did 357s and did some 346s, I even big board a 385, made it a 91cc saw, that would give my uh, sleeper 394, kind of make that saw a little nervous actually. So. Anyway, I digress and I do apologize. Today we're going to see what we get after we have ran this thing through the gauntlet, so to speak. It was on the operating table, performed some microsurgery, and it's psychoized, but it's not complete because we're going to do the torque tweak next. And I wanted to do this in stages or phases so I could see for myself how things transpired. And there you go. So second go round on that chain. Um, it's a 24 inch Samora lightweight bar. And yeah, so the chain I think is, it's, it's pulling chunks technically. It's not even really cutting very well at this point. I'm gonna have to do some adjustments on that situation with the angles on the teeth in this particular application for this um, particular chain, but it's going to stress that operation pretty good actually, which I'm kind of thankful since this saw was really struggling, fell on its face pretty bad in stock form against the 346. So we'll have a wardrobe change in the middle of this operation as well. So here we go. Oh, and I built the dogs for that saw. It actually showed up with one on it and I was unimpressed and so I made a set that actually worked. So here we go.
So if we want to take a look at the size of the chunks that chain's pulling out, we're going to have to make a little adjustment on the grind, if you will. Um, yeah, they're pretty good size for such a micro chain, 325 pitch. Okay, wardrobe change now and a warm-up session. So we're running out of battery on the bat phone here. We're going to go at it real quick and see if we can make her through. I noticed right at the end of the last session the bat died but we did get an opportunity to see both up and down cuts with the 346 so I'm super pleased I'm thankful at that and you can also see that's the new version a little bit lighter lightweight s'more bar they're not super lightweight but they're actually really durable I like the rails on them a lot but anyway I better mention that I weighed these on my hand-me-down bathroom scales, which aren't weights and measures accurate, of course. Fully fueled, ready to go cut something, whatever it would be. And the 261 came in at 11.2, and the 346 came in at 12.2. So it's exactly one pound heavier, but we're dealing with a saw. My saw, this one here, is a 2000 vintage. It's 20 years old. Um, I've had it f most of its life, I guess. I can't remember when I picked that thing up. It was 18 years ago, 19 years ago at least. Um, it, I can't even remember now, to be honest, if I bought that thing new. I think I got it. It was. I think the shop had it in. The guy had it for 30 seconds and didn't like it, and it was a trade-in deal. It was pretty much brand new when I picked it up. So... We're speeding that thing up in these videos where we're going 17,000 or whatever it might be and it's all factory, all stock, all original and it's at this point 20 years old. So kudos to the Husqvarna for being bulletproof I guess. Um, the 261 comes in with the latest and greatest in the stratification process so essentially has a metered air leak in that system. They've done a lot going for lightweight which I mean you can't blame them there it's one piece cylinder cover design like the Husqvarna's have been for eons and it's got a little super lightweight separator between the back of the cylinder and the carburetor it's basically separates the carb box from the cylinder super awesomely lightweight like what we saw in the 462 so they're making great strides to reduce the weight in the process and 346 probably got some build up with the wrap handlebars it's going to be a little bit heavier anyway so maybe you're a half pound or so with the little 50cc saw I'm really curious to see how those two actually compare with this um, session of time runs we're getting ready to do the got flow 2.0 for the 261 we're going to torch the, those two off here pretty soon and then we'll have to apply the torque tweak to the 261 and see how she fares then so anyway a lot of dialogue thanks for being patient have a blessed day wherever you might be on god's green earth thanks for watching